Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use Backboarder or Backboard on your iPod Touch or iPhone. And basically, what this does is it backs up your themes. So instead of going through Winterboard every time you want to change your theme, you can just come in here, click on the theme you want, and hit install. And then it'll respring and you'll have your new theme set up. And this is really useful for uh, themes that take a while to set up, like iZune or something you use with a uh, grid lock that takes a while to set up. So, I'll show you here what this does right now. I just have the regular iOS theming. Oops. So, I'm going to go into Backboard here. And... Let's see, I'll do the glass cart, and then I'll hit install, and confirm it. And then it says it's working down there. And then once this is done, it's going to ask me to respring. And then I'm going to hit respring. It can take a few seconds here. Okay, so once that's done, you hit respring, and it'll respring your device. Okay, so now it's done, and as you can see, it's different than I had last time. So it unlocks, and right now I have some stuff messed up because I haven't used this theme for a while. But as you can see, it's different, and it has that cool Android background with the moving little blocks and stuff. So anyways, you can do, I mean, there's tons of stuff you can do, but, uh, so you can do any theme, like, let's say, here, I'll go into Winterboard, and I'll enable... do Axiom and at risk HD lock screen with black navigation bars. I'm just picking something random out. And then I'm going to respring and I, I'm just going to cut this out and come back when it's done. Okay, so now it's done respringing, and as you can see, it does look different again. So, yeah. So then what you're going to do is go into, let's see if I can find it here. Oh, here we go. So you're going to go back into Backboard. And then if you want to make a new theme backup, then you hit the the plus button and then the name of the theme you want um, I'm just going to type in theme and then hit create and then it'll take a second and create that and once it's done see it says complete theme has been created hit ok and once that's done your theme is set back there the theme I just made and then so anytime you're out of that theme you can come in here and install, and it'll put the theme right back onto your device. So it's really useful for themes that take a while to set up, like this one I haven't used in a while. And normally there's not these four icons here, and I can see the clock. And, like, I put that right there, and there's the calendar and all that set up. So, um... So, yeah, it's not really working right now because I haven't used it in a while. But it works for things that take a while to set up. So, anyways, and then if I want to go back to my other theme, I can just come into Backboard. Scroll over into iOS folders, as I named it, and install it. It's going to take a second here.
Okay, so now it's done. It says complete. Would you like to respring? Yes. I'll hit respring. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, it is back on my normal theme. See? Back to normal. So, yeah, that's how you use Backboard. And all you have to do is search Backboard in City, and it should come up. You just hit Install, confirm that, respring once you're done, and you'll have Backboard. And it's a great tool for theming. It's a lot easier than Winterboard. So, yep, that's all I have for you. Um, see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.